Waking Violet is a top-down 2D block puzzle game. The story is about a girl named Violet who wants to be treated like an adult and take control of her own life. As soon as she goes to sleep, she gets stuck in her dreams. She has to complete 42 level challenging levels across different worlds in order to wake up. To beat a level, she has to obtain an alarm clock that opens up the escape portal. As soon as you get the alarm clock, in some levels, you will be attacked by monsters. Violet being far slower than the monsters means you can't outrun them, so you have to use your wits to trap and destroy them. To do that, you obtain abilities from journals that help you manipulate surroundings, like the ability to blow up blocks, walk on water, to clone yourself, and use telekinesis to pull blocks towards you, and the ability to re rewind time which is already unlocked when you begin. So each level will restrict you from using certain abilities except for rewind time. Each ability has certain mana usage and each level each level provides a li limited pool of mana to use. So you have to be efficient in how you use your abilities. If you run out of mana with poor moves, you can rewind time and find a far better path. Every puzzle will make you think outside the box. The solution isn't always straightforward. But if you do get stuck, there is a hint system. You're given three max per playthrough. In each level, you have one hint, regardless of how much you've progressed in that level. Keep in mind, Achievement Hunters, that there is a trophy for beating the game without hints. If you're still having problems, I recommend sleeping on it which has helped with a few of the rage inducing puzzles. Being clear of mind, mentally fresh will help tackle those puzzles. I had no issues with Waking Violet as a game, apart from Violet being a bit slow and moving. She can really test your patience at some times, especially in ice terrain levels. There is no replayability after completing the game, but it's fair, priced fairly at $6.99. With the launch sale price at $4.99 USD, you will get your money's worth at least 5 hours of gameplay time without a guide. For trophy hunters, Waking Violet does come with a platinum trophy, but it's a challenging one at that. So if you're looking for an easy platinum, I would suggest waiting for a guide, which will, if there is one, will probably take 1-2 to two hours. Overall, I did enjoy my time with Waking Violet. The appealing ha hand drawn art, low key music that fit the setting really helped. Rarely did the music ever disturb my concentration. I played it on both the PS4 and PS Vita. The Vita has no frame drips, but the loading times are a bit longer than the PS4 version. Overall, I give Waking Violet a 7 out of 10.